the world is conspiring against me a little bit this morning. I got up to get my daughter to the bus, made myself a coffee in my to-go container, in my thermos, and managed to spill it in my car. All this steam was coming up. Where's that coming from? At least now my car is going to smell lovely of coffee for the next while because I don't even know how to clean it up. It's like under the seat. And then on the way home, I'm like, oh, I'll treat myself to a coffee. There was parking spots, but I had already passed them, so I pulled up a couple blocks and um, walk back to one of the coffee shops and it's closed. It closed down like two months ago, which I figured out right before I got there, like at the crosswalk to go to go across the street. And then in grocery shopping, they don't have coffee grinders there so I can buy the coffee in bulk, but I can't grind it. I do have a bit of coffee left, so I'm going to go and have that right after because I don't so much need it for the mornings I mean, I'm awake, it's 10 o'clock, I don't need it to wake up, but I do need it because I had a caffeine headache in the afternoon, late afternoon, if I haven't had coffee yet. I did manage to go out of, off of coffee a few months ago and dealt with the headaches and the bitchiness for days and then somehow went back on coffee because it's delicious, so I kind of have to either pick either completely off or completely on. I mean, I guess I could have decaf coffee, but what's the point in that? If you have decaf coffee, stay off of it. And there's just that odd morning where I do really need a, a pick-me-up and a, and a cup of coffee. I'm just a morning person. If I could have coffee in the afternoon, maybe I could function, but I cannot. And so, yeah, that was my, my day. Plus, I got a notice. I've been off, of, um, off on disability, not being able to work full-time. I paid my bills up until, like, the last month I wasn't able to, and then food and shelter became a priority, so I stopped paying my credit card bills, as I would suggest everyone to do. And I just find the creditors so weird. I mean, this was three and a half years ago that I stopped paying. And I had like 20000 in credit card debt between over the course of, of years, and I was paying the bare minimum, which is not what you want to do. But and now the one, I don't know, it must be that credit card because they're like, you owe 30000 to somehow increase 10000 which I guess happens when you don't pay for three and a half years. But they sent me this letter, which was more or less like, give us the 30000 We've made this installment plan of $5,000 per month for you. And if you pay it, there'll be no legal action. But if you don't pay it, not only will you have to cover this cost, but you'll have to also cover the legal action cost. And um, like, okay, yeah, you go, you go ahead. You take a single mom on disability to court. You see how much money the courts are gonna give you. I don't have money. Like you can't get blood from a stone. So if I don't have this 30,000 and haven't paid any, or 20,000, it's now 30,000 and you, and I haven't paid anything on it in three and a half years. Do you think I have $5,000 a month? Like who has $5,000 a month? It's like this easy payment of 5,000 a month. Just makes me laugh and it's like, it's been transferred so many times to so many different people. It's like, well, the money you owe to these people, who is that? Do you even know? Why are you, it's like, if I was gonna pay it off, I would go through one of the collect the people who you can pay like half of it or a quarter of it. I definitely wouldn't be paying you, Mr. Lawyer, the full amount in $5,000 installments. I have to call TELUS this morning because I got a, a bill from from them, it's been, I'm very blessed to get internet, high speed internet for $10 a month because I'm a mom on disability. And they um, gave out like a few thousand vouchers for $10 for a year and I signed up and then I got a call in the, in the spring saying we're gonna increase it another year, which is awesome. So I have it till like March of 2019, $10 a month internet. And so, but then they called a few months ago and they're like, oh, we're doing like high fiber optics in your neighborhood. It won't cost you anything. In fact, it'll be better. And we'll just, and um, I'm like, but I'm on this $10 a month plan. They're like, yeah, yeah, we'll still have that. I'm like, okay. So I signed up for it. I just got my bill. I, before I switched over to this $10 a month one, I just paid this, I hadn't paid it for a few months. And so I ended up paying like $200, but it ended up double paying. So I had $200 sitting on there. So I haven't paid it in forever because it's $10. So it's like 20 months worth of, of payments. And um, so this time comes and it's like, I had I think 80 bucks left on it and it's like charging me 70, which means it's charging me like $150 for internet. Who pays $150 for internet anyway? I'm sorry, even if it's top of the line, that's ridiculous for just internet, not cable, not phone, not anything else on top of it. 
anyway, so I'm to phone them and be like, okay, so you guys need to switch me back to the other one or like, what did you do? And I asked her, I don't even know how many times while I was on it. Like, yes, but I get this $10 one, $10 one, right? So that was my morning opening the mail. It's only Monday today. I didn't do my one. I did one extra video on the weekend. So this is video number 25. I'm going to try to catch up and maybe do two, day, two today. But yeah, I opened my mail, got Telespill, wasn't expecting to learn but from a lawyer. They must sell some coffee to bring my child to, to school, spilled in the car, the other one's closed. It's like one of those days, maybe I should just go back to bed. I haven't had coffee yet, I could, right? But it's also just the universe playing pranks because none of them, none of it's horrible. None of it's gonna mean the difference of a roof over my head. I mean, unless the lawyer does have teeth and can come after me for literally the roof over my head. Um, like if you can come after me for my disability money, yeah, then I'd have a problem. I'd make like negative, negative $5,000 a month then. But um, yeah, I think I know too much for them to bully me. I know too much about the legal system. I used to work in a bank. I know, yeah, I know enough to know that they can. And plus they never even call. They pay a robot to call me. Like I'm never calling back a robot pay a human being to call me and I'll explain the situation. I did when I first started not being able to pay back. I called all the creditors and explained if they didn't pass that information on when they sold my debt, sorry, not sorry. You can figure it out some other way. Um, but yeah, so that's my morning. Hope you're having a better morning than me. I'm going to go find some coffee.